Guys, have you ever overheard someone's conversation that has really, really hurt your head? Yeah, that's this movie. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So I hope you are liking the new movie review intro for this channel. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But yes, <sighs> Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, go follow me on those. I went and saw three movies yesterday, back to back. Well, I saw the Emoji movie, then I saw Valerian, then I went back for a client, then I came back, saw 47 meters down. Oh, triple threat, guys. It wasn't a double bill, it was a triple threat. And I saw I saw those. So go check out my emoji movie after this. But Valerian. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Right. Let's talk the plot in this movie. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to read it from I've got the Odeon magazine here because there's some interesting stuff in here about Valerian. So I wanna read it to you guys, okay? Now, let's Let's find the plot to this movie, okay? Ha, oh, right, right. Guys, here is the plot, okay? Because I cannot, for the life of me, try and describe it to you guys, because there's there was a lot in this movie, okay? Right. Dane DeHaan is Valerian, okay? And Cara Delevingne is Laureline. Special operatives working in the 28th century... It's their job to maintain order in human territories, including the vast metropolis of Alpha, which is the city of a thousand planets. Loads of aliens, everyone has come there, it's like a big... It's like Coruscant, okay? It is basically Coruscant, the council. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay? Um, which is home species from a thousand different planets. Okay, uh, after centuries of peace, unknown force wants to destroy what they've created under the rules of Ministry of Defence. <laughs> Valerian and Laureline have less than 10 hours to find the threat and eliminate it. That is your plot, okay? Now, guys, I was sat outside before reading this, okay? So this, this movie is quite interesting in its premise, okay? Now... Apparently this is like a graphic novel, comic, or something from back in the day, a book. And this actually, apparently, Valerian and Laureline, the book, comic book, actually inspired, like, um, Star Wars, Avatar, freaking loads of other movies. What else did it inspire? Apparently it's from the... Yeah, it inspired, like, Star Wars, Avatar, and all that, okay? So... A lot of people have the negative, okay, and I picked up on it as well, that this is just rehashing those movies. Now, obviously, it is if it inspired those movies from back in the day, but my god, does this movie copy a lot of movies. <laughs> it really does. Now, I'm going to get to that later, okay, guys, but listen to this, okay? Okay? <laughs> there is a creature. I was reading about the creatures, Right, Milo the Converter, this little lizard looking thing, a popular character from the comic book, Milo can replicate any small object through pooping. <laughs> that sums up this movie. <laughs> right guys, let's get in to my positives. <laughs> wow, if there is any. So starting off my positives, this film is very quirky in its creativity and its imagination. I mean, it's got such a cool premise, such a cool concept, such cool lore behind everything like that, that it just, yeah, it sounds very interesting and you can see from the visuals, everything created in this movie, it's just very imaginative very very creative and it is very very cool to even think of and try and comprehend that it's just yeah that's very very cool to see that's not going to save the movie though 
though. <laughs> now, going hand in hand with the creativity, the very imagina uh, imaginative side, the visuals in this. Now, if the visuals weren't good, it wouldn't make the imaginative, creative side look that great. But the visuals in this are very, very good. They're very, very appealing to the eyes, very bright, very vibrant, very, very cool to see. There was some great stuff um, happening, very cool concepts. And the visuals just blew me away. Flight scenes, battle scenes, it was all very, very cool to see. And the CGI is very, very good. I mean, some bits do look video game-esque, like with aliens and stuff. But in a movie like this, I can still buy wholeheartedly into that. Now, like I said, that is not going to save this movie from me tearing it a new one. <laughs> Another positive is Rihanna in this movie. Now, <sighs> Rihanna has the best scene. <laughs> That's not saying a lot. Wow. In a film, in a film that has freaking, what's his name, Clive Owen in, freaking Dane DeHaan in, Cara Delevingne in. I mean, she's not a bad actress, but Rihanna stole the show. <laughs> She had a really, really good scene, and it was by far the best scene in this movie. It, it really was. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she plays a stripper sort of hooker, and she has the best scene. It's, it's making me sound like a perv. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> she has the best scene. Oh! <laughs> Valerian, why you do this to me? So my last positive for this movie is the action sequence at the end towards the finale, like the finale sort of scene. That was by far the best action sequence we got in this movie. I do not even really remember many others in this movie that when it happened, it's not believable in the slightest. I mean, these robots are just mowing people down. And Dane DeHaan comes in and he's one-shotting them. I was just like... You ain't John Wick. <laughs> I was not believing it for a second, but for the eyes, for entertainment-wise, it was it was a great scene, and it was a great action sequence. It was, yeah, it's the only thing I can really remember throughout two hours of this film. I mean, and that sequence is not making up for the previous two hours that I got, because my god... They were awful. <laughs> Guys, let's get into my negatives, because oh, fucking hell. <laughs> there is a lot. <laughs> so guys, in one of my previous movie reviews, Dunkirk, go check it out if you haven't seen it already. But I moaned about the lack of dialogue um, in that movie. My god, I wish this movie suffered with that problem. Holy shit, the dialogue in this was atrocious. <laughs> Fuck. Everything they said was not believable. It was just so cliche, so bad. Wow, the writing in this, whoever wrote this movie, whoever wrote the dialogue and thought it was good dialogue, you need to... Hollywood, kick him out! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I was sat there in my seat, and we was like five minutes into the movie, me and Hazamatron looked at each other, and we was like... Five minutes in. Now this movie is two hours, maybe more. We were sat there and every time someone spoke, like, this was like 99% of the time, I was just like, oh, fucking hell. Cinema just kept, oh my god, we was just sighing throughout. <laughs> Guys, going back to the dialogue, I'm not even lying, I was sat in the cinema, okay, and Cara Delevingne is about to touch this butterfly, and I literally, out loud, in the, I've never really spoken in the cinema before, like, I'll whisper to Harry or saying. But I've never spoke out loud, and I was just like, that's a beautiful butterfly. Out loud! <laughs> Not two seconds later did Cara Delevingne's character go, that's a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> the whole cinema laughed, and I was just like, oh my god, this film's so predictable. <laughs> the dialogue in this is atrocious. <laughs> Now guys, going back to my positive, I did say this was very imaginative, very creative. <sighs> but, it is not original in the slightest. Oh my god. Wow, right. This movie rips off so many other movies. Now, I don't want to say it ripped off Star Wars, it ripped off Avatar, because if the comic book inspired those, all good. It's all good. 
But this movie ripped off so many other movies. I mean, it has got three aliens in it, yeah, okay, that all speak in, like, sort of unison. So one will say something, then the other one will say something, and it all leads to you getting this information. They are basically the three witches from Macbeth, or the three witches from Hercules. Oh my god, there was... This, that's not even the only one. I mean, there's a freaking trash compactor scene in this. That pro proper copies <laughs> A New Hope. Wow. And then, to top it all off, me and Hazematron had this moment where we looked at each other and was like, that's taken. I am not even lying to you, and this might be even... It's not even a spoiler, because the dialogue's just awful, but this... This whole scene is from Taken. They literally say, I will find you and kill you. To which Dane DeHaan turns around and yes, you already know what he says. Good luck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> it copies so many movies. I mean, if you want to go see a Taken ripoff, go see this. If you want to see Dane DeHaan reenact Juggernaut from X-Men The Last Stand, I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Go see this. It, oh my days. Every scene just ripped it off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, talking of this movie ripping off other movies, I am so glad that I heard the leaked footage from Infinity War because apparently in that trailer, you see Doctor Strange making these sort of shields for Star-Lord to jump on and shoot people, okay. Now, I saw, in this movie, it was quite cool, but Dane DeHaan's running and he jumps over this cavern and he starts shooting these shields so he can run along it. Cool scene! But there is no way in hell that I am coming out of Infinity War saying Infinity War ripped off Valyrian. <laughs> Holy shit! No, I'm so glad I heard about Infinity War first because this movie rips off that. Fuck! <laughs> right, guys, talking of rip-offs, Going back, right, I want to talk about Cara Delevingne's character, Laureline, and Dane DeHaan's Valerian. Now, their chemistry, from the get-go, the moment you meet them, Dane DeHaan's going to be this badass agent, okay? You see him walking topless down like this, with his movies bouncing, talking about all these girls, all these pictures on the walls of this playlist that he's banged. I was just like, what? Some badass agent, he's going, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> and then he wants to get with Cara Delevingne and everything. And their chemistry was just, it was horrible, okay? Now, they, the film was trying to pull off this sort of, the Han Leia relationship, where they've got this really hate-love, banterish sort of relationship, this chemistry, where you can tell they want each other, but they're just, they're being assholes to each other. This Han Leia relationship... It did not work. Oh my god, the chemistry was awful. You did not buy into it one second. I was just like, no, please stop. Please. And then he wants to marry her and everything. I was just like, you've just been talking about all these girls you've banged. Like, why is she going to want to marry you? And then at the end, oh my god, there's, they're still talking about marriage. And uh, oh my god, it was making me physically sick. <laughs> Their chemistry was god awful. I mean... Cara Delevingne was a lot better in this than she was in Suicide Squad. I mean, fucking hell. <laughs> At least she went belly dancing in this. <laughs> Dane DeHaan was. <laughs> yeah, it was very Han Leia, try hard, and it didn't work. I mean, they didn't have a covalent bond. <laughs> Boom! Science! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> So guys, overall, this movie is by far the worst movie I've seen this year, and I've seen Transformers 5, The Last Night, and that was boring as hell, but guys, oh my god, every two minutes me and Hazmatron looked at each other, contemplating walking out, okay? Hazmatron left 15 minutes before the end anyway, and I was just like, oh, I should have done that, <laughs> I should have done that! <laughs> this was a god-awful movie, I do not recommend anyone go see it. I mean, this is getting positive praise, guys. This movie is getting positive praise from people that hate Amazing Spider-Man 2. And people that freaking... Oh my god, people are saying the Emoji Movie is worse than this. No, guys. I, I saw the Emoji Movie. I saw this. The Emoji Movie is a lot better. This movie is awful. J please do not see it. Please. <laughs> so, guys, that is my thoughts on Valerian. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below all your thoughts. 
Oh my god, I hated it. I really did. I oh my god. <laughs> so did Hazematron. <laughs> but guys, I have now got to go shoot my 47 meters down movie review because, like I said, I had a triple threat where I saw all the movies. So if you want to see that movie review, hit subscribe. Stay tuned for that. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See you later. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. <laughs> Guys, a big thank you to watching the video. If you liked what you've seen and you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, why not check out some of my other videos? You've got one here, you've got one there, and you've got one there. Guys, go check out those videos, hit subscribe, and see you in the next video.